Welcome back to our YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen. I want to begin by asking you a question. Do you think the ICC prosecutor Karim Khan acted in a breach of any law by coming to Kenya to honor that invitation to be honored with a honorary degree in law? Honoris causa, that is a new term that I learned, I'm not a lawyer. Do you think they are double standards? Because this debate has really caused a lot of altercation between Azimio and Kenya Kwanza. And one person who is very bitter with, the, with, with Karim Khan is the Iron Lady herself, Martha Wangari Karua. Martha Karua does not understand why Karim Khan must honor such invitation at a time when there are two letters on his desk, each of them accusing each other of failing tension within the country, of taking people to the streets, of killing Kenyans. And he, she feels that this is not right. Look at what Martha Karua said. Martha is saying, ICC prosecutor Karim Khan hosting in Kenya this weekend by Mount Kenya University and its founder, a friend of his former client, William Ruto, at a time both the Zimio and Kenya Kwanza regime have written to ICC on the situation in the country, especially the killing spree of, the, of unarmed protesters by police is not only suspect but also a blot on the credibility of the ICC. So Martha Karua is mentioning two things. That when Azimio and Kenya Kwanza are battling it out on who is wrong and who is right, and Martha feels that the Kenya Kwanza carelessly killed innocent demonstrators. And when they have written such a letter, and the government is also claiming that the Azimio are, are acting in breach of the law, Karim Khan was not supposed to honor that invitation. He, he, could have de he should have declined. And he's also saying that the owner, the founder of the university, Mount Kenya University, is a very close ally, a friend to William Samoy Ruto. And William is in charge of the government that unleashed terror on the innocent suspects. And, and then William Ruto is his former client. He represented Ruto in a case against humanity in the very Hague where he's now serving as a prosecutor. With those three things, Martha Karua says that this should have not happened because it is suspect and it is indicting the credibility of the ICC. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you. It is like a judge who is supposed to be listening to a case between you and I. And then you walk into a church and they are sitting together with the person with whom you are having a case and they are conversing and laughing together or you walk into a club and they are watching football together they are supporting the same club Wakokwameza it might not really mean per se with authority that they are planning or they want to compromise the outcome of the investigation or of the judgment but it is suspect it makes the person who has taken that case demoralized because let's just speak the truth without speaking about politics here Karim Khan is supposed to be a neutral arbiter here investigating both sides yet the people whom he's supposed to investigate have invited him in full view and knowledge of what is going on in the country he would have taken cognizant of the fact that one side will not agree with him. And then this is his client. And on this, I want to agree with Martha Karua. And I'm not saying that the level of, of, of investigation has been compromised, but it is suspect. It can be compromised. And if you want to know just how serious this matter is, Dennis Itumbi decided to take on Martha Karua to explain why he feels 
that Karim Khan is not acting in breach of any law. And this is what he told mother. Mom, Mother Karua, you are wrong on Karim Khan. He has a relationship with the Kenyan children. It goes beyond the leaders you mentioned. Here are photos from a school in Kajiado that he supports. Pictures are courtesy of his foundation, social media pages. A man who supports an entire school deserves such honorary degree from Mount Kenya University and maybe Sikunjema. Dennis Tube is trying to defend Karim Khan and I don't know why. It reminds me of, uh, of, of a quote from the Bible that I love quoting every day. This is something that I was taught when I was young. That a righteous man is as brave as a lion, but a guilty one will always flee even when there is no one who is chasing or pursuing them. Dennis Itumbi is trying to defend Karim Khan. But let me tell you, tell you why, why Dennis is wrong. Mother Karua is not saying that Karim Khan should not come to be honored with an honorary degree. Mount Kenya University is not, is not going to be burnt today. Mount Kenya University will continue. It is an established institution. And this is not the last graduation ceremony. They should have waited when things are calm. We are talking about the timing, if Dennis Itumbi does not understand. We are talking about the timing when Karim Khan is coming here. When both the government and oppositions are fighting and they have written letters. And the person inviting Karim Khan is a friend to the government. The timing is morally suspect. The people inviting him are legally suspect in this. Sometimes, let us not do things that leave room for speculation. It is not good at all. These are the kind of things that make Kenyans demoralized. They lack faith in the government whatever the government does. In fact, if you conduct your own search today and opinion polls, very few people trust William Ruto. Not an opinion on whether you want them to, to vote for William Ruto or not, because they will, the, their people will vote for him because depending on whom is is contesting with. If it is Raila Molodinga, their people just say Raila, and they will vote for Ruto because they don't have any otherwise. But at the level of trust, I'm telling you, is suspect. I analyzed uh, when the government uh, systems were stalled and some people from, from uh, a group from uh, Sudan was claiming the bragging right that they stalled the government projects. And people were saying, Apana, you ni rutu na ujanja wake, wanataka kutuibia. And then the other day we analyzed how Moses Kuria and Kithure Kediki were denied entry because they came late to the performance con uh, signing contract uh, ceremony. And people were saying, Apana, Ruto anatuchezea tu, anajua vizuri waleua watu huko sasa, hii ni PR. People don't really trust William Ruto. And it is because of such kind of things. Was it a must for Karim Khan to come during this time? And even Karim Khan himself is a renowned lawyer, an ICC prosecutor, a person who has been in this field for some times now. Why would he honor such invitation? These are the kind of things. In fact, William Ruto himself, I like quoting, quoting him verbatim. He says, these are the kind of things that we call playing with our collective intelligence. It is like umetoweka sisi soote kwa mfuku unadhani sisi ni wajinga. Hatufikiri sisi ni suzu. Ni kama unachukua all the leaders from Mount Kenya, unaweka kwa hapo Sagana Lodge, and you start cheating them. Unapatia wananchi nyama, wanakula, alafu uko hapo unawambia, atisita kubali handshake, nini, nini, nini. And you know very well what wanakufa nja, the high cost of living, the fuel prices are going to be high, and all these things. Sasa unaweka ni kana kwamba, being there, ama kama uko hapo, Njaa ita wauma, njaa ikikuja, ita wabagwa kwa sababu maybe wawo wana kusupport. I hate someone who thinks that he can deceive all the people all the time. Do you have faith 
in ICC, the way the prosecutor is behaving. While he was speaking to TV47, he was questioned about the letters from Azimio and, 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 and uh, Kenya Kwanza. He refused to, to, to answer. And maybe I think it is because he didn't want to start, you know, expounding so much and opening the Pandora's box. But for me, this guy is giving us a lot of room for speculation and it's not right at all. He should not come at such an hour, at such a time. And remember, Mother is Mother Karua is a lawyer and she knows what is happening. I don't know what to think, but on this, I take a stand. Mother Karua is right.